Hi, this is Mike from Microsoft Box and Reviews on How To, and on today's video, I'm going to show you how to reset or disable the BIOS requirement on your Acer laptop. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to show you how to disable or reset the BIOS password requirement on your Acer laptop. Now, this works for Acer 8 digit and 10 digit laptops, and if you're not too sure which one of yours is, Let's find out and we'll uh, go through the process to show you how it's all done. So here is my Acer laptop. This is the A514, uh, I think it is, dash 43. And I've set a BIOS password, but I can't remember what it is. So I'm going to turn the laptop on. And as you can possibly see there, it says insert current password. Now, I'm not too sure what it is. So what we're going to do is actually going to press the enter key three times. So I press enter once. It says wrong password. Click OK. Do it again. Do it again. And at this point, it'll say on the screen, enter incorrect password three times. Please press enter to continue. So press enter again. And now we come up with a different thing altogether, which now says select item, enter unlock password or system shutdown. So at this point, what we want to do is to get an unlock password. But obviously, if you're trying this for yourself, you haven't got your unlock password, but don't worry. This is all part of the process. So press enter. And it says enter unlock password key and it's got a serial number there, which is 10 digits. Now yours might be eight digits, mine's uh, 10. I'll give you a close up of that now so you can see what it actually looks like. So what you want to do now is ideally grab a piece of paper and write this down because the next part is we need to go to another computer and actually get online. You can do this from either a tablet, mobile phone, basically anything that can access the internet, but you do need this number in order to create your unlock code. So on your desktop PC, open up a browser and go to biosbug.com. And on the screen on your right hand side, you've got options for Asus, Sony and Acer BIOS Unlock. So we're going to go to Acer BIOS Unlock. And you've got the option to choose between Acer 8 digit BIOS Unlock or Acer 10 digit. So ours is a 10 digit. So we're going to click on that one. And now we can scroll down a little bit further past all the adverts. And there we are. And then you can put in your 10 digit code. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Once you've done that, you can click on send request. And this shouldn't take very long at all, probably about a minute or so to uh, generate the new access code. So as you can see, the numbers that are being shown at the bottom there, this is your BIOS unlock code. So now we can write down those numbers or obviously if you've got the mobile next to you, you can just type them in straight away. So we're going to head over into our BIOS now and type in those numbers. Now the numbers, when you're typing them in, make sure you keep the, uh, the case the same. And also if there is any O's, they appear to be o uh, zeros rather than O's. So make sure you do those. So as you can see there, we've got it typed in. So all we need to do now is press enter. If it comes up with the fail, then Try again, and maybe you've actually typed in a digit wrong. Try that again, and there we go. So now our Acer laptop is uh, up and running, and there we go, we're into Windows. So there we go, there is our Acer laptop with the BIOS password reset, and now actually it won't ever ask for it again. So you can reboot the system and you'll never get prompted for the BIOS password again. Obviously, if you do need to put a BIOS password in, then go back into your BIOS by pressing either F2 or use the Windows shutdown and shift key to go into the UFE BIOS, and then you can actually reset your password. So hopefully this video has been useful to you. If it has, don't forget to give the video a like, and if you want to see more content on this, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the chime icon, and you'll be notified of future video releases. So I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.